Hey, Bigger Behind the Drager here again, and got my special little ditty here. This is the very first firearm I learned how to shoot on. This is a Remington Target Master 510. It is empty, as you can see. Always uh, show that it's empty. And, uh, yep, it's got a barrel a mile long. Uh, this is a rifle that my grandfather bought, and this is what well, was manufactured in 1940. And he was the original owner of it. This is him right here. So you can see that. That's my great grandfather, my grandfather, and uh, he purchased it new. Uh, he was an engineer at Sunstrands, and uh, he gave it to my father right here when he was what about. 14 years old, 12 years old, and of course, what does he do with it? He goes and shoots out street lights, so my grandpa took it away from him and gave it to my uncle. And uh, my uncle kept it out in uh, on the Mississippi River. He lived in Darlington, Iowa, and he had a uh, rendering plant during the Vietnam War where they'd go and get the blood and all that, and they'd use that for making gunpowder or explosives, whatever. So they kept this out on the uh, out of this place to shoot rats and uh, then my dad went and saw it and said hey that's my 22 my dad took that away from me and gave it you know, they, he gave it back to my dad and my dad gave it to me as my first 22 I was probably 15 or so 14, 15, 16 somewhere in that range and my brother too um, we both got it because, you know, he wasn't going to play favorites. And, uh, this is me when I was probably about 16. I'm a bald-headed idiot. Notice we all have fish because we come from a long line of fishing family, as you can see. Fishing rods. I got about 30 or so of them. But anyway, um, yeah, this rifle was made in, uh, December, no, not December, um, August, I believe, of 1940, and my grandpa bought it, and he used it, I've got pictures of him somewhere of him squirrel hunting with it, and, uh, my dad would go squirrel hunting with him, and, uh, yep, we just, uh, he gave it to me, and this is what I started shooting on, and I still have it. Uh, this is going to my my nephew, my brother's son, um, since I didn't have any kids. So it's going to be passed on, so it'll be a fourth generation gun. So fourth generations of Atkinsons have owned this firearm. And uh, I think that's a, a pretty cool thing. Uh, he's only 15 right now, soon to be 16. And uh, he's more in love with my AR than anything. But uh, uh, he understands the history behind the firearm. and everything and uh, he's looking forward to owning it when he can get his Floyd card because we live in Illinois and they get those Kobe Floyd cards so uh, you know, as soon as he gets his Floyd card he can take it home if his mom doesn't want it in the house and it stays in my safe and he can take it until he lives on his own but uh, plus I'm a little surprise for him so coming up pretty soon I hope <laughs> but uh, Anyway, I'm going to be taking him down here and teaching him how to reload. Uh, we're going to be doing, um, you know, just the standard 38, 357, 45, 223, 308, stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, we're going to uh, have a good time. So, that's about all that I have for now. This is uh, 243 Outdoors. He went and uh, was talking about his first firearm. I think I believe it was a shotgun. And I wanted to uh, do a video on mine. I told him I would, and it's taken me about a month or so. So, uh, here we have it. And as you can see, this rifle is in absolutely beautiful condition. It's been kept in beautiful condition. The, uh, because my father taught me how to take care of firearms. Not bad for a firearm that was made in 1940. And the bluing on it's beautiful, everything is wonderful. So, this is how I was taught to take care of firearms. It sits in a silicone sock in my gun safe, and don't have to worry about it. I just have to put some new silicone on it once in a while. 
But uh, yeah, plus this thing shoots really super well. So it's uh, one of my favorite 22 in the world. So anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. If you like, please subscribe and hit the little bell button so you can get uh, new videos. And I thank you very much for watching, and you'll have a good day. Oh, by the way, Kyle, I've got your package, and Preacher, I've got your package ready to go. So I think, that, Kyle, I'm waiting for one thing special for you. <laughs> you're going to like it. So uh, I don't think you, you're expecting what you're going to be getting, but it's going to be funny. So uh, make sure you open it live, or open it on YouTube. So. Anyway, hope you guys, in the, oh, and another thing, subscribe to the Reloaders Network. It is really important you do that. Do not trust YouTube. They're taking videos down left and right. Um, everything I do goes straight to, uh, well, it goes on YouTube, but then it goes straight to the Reloaders Network. And I urge anybody that is not on the Reloaders Network to go there. Um, Mr. Loads of Bacon started something wonderful, and... Uh, we don't have to worry about any of the uh, stupid uh, YouTube rules and stuff like that about firearms. It's just a place where uh, serious shooters and reloaders can get together and talk and chat and, well, do live chats. And <laughs> every Saturday or so, we'll have a pretty goofy one going on that'll go on for as long as, I don't know, eight hours. So it's kind of fun. So. Yeah, so please check out the Reloaders Network. It's it's a uh, matter of fact. There we go. Reloaders Network. Well, it's probably backwards for you, but it's the Reloaders Network. It's important. Check it out. It's something that's I don't know. Anyway, you guys have a great day, and uh, see ya. I had like to dedicate all of my videos to my father. Without him it wouldn't be possible. He's the one that taught me how to shoot, fish, camp, everything. He got me into Boy Scouts at, uh, in 1978 and uh, taught me a lot. And without him I wouldn't be doing these videos, I wouldn't be shooting, I would have never worked in the firearms industry. I would have never done any of that without him, so um, he passed away on February 27th, 2003, and I still miss him to this day, so I dedicate all my videos to my dad. Thank you very much.